word today, Lord, although it is a sad occasion, Lord, we know that you are the best of planners, Lord. We know that you will allow a life of one to be taken to change the lives of many, Lord. So please, Lord, give us the strength to continue to fight, Lord, and not let Brandon Covens go in vain. Topping your news at 10 tonight, family and friends of Brandon Colvin Sr., along with many community members, gathered to remember and honor him at the site of the partially collapsed building in downtown Davenport. Good evening, I'm Joey Danya. Yesterday, city officials and family confirmed Colvin Sr.'s body was pulled from the rubble six days after the collapse. Tonight, many surrounding the family with prayer and support, also acknowledging the families of the two men who are still unaccounted for. TV6 spoke to Mike Collier, Brandon's cousin, and he reacted with what he would say to Andrew Wold, the building owner who has not had communication with the family, according to Collier. understand what's really going on over here? I mean, what if that was your family member off up in that building? There are still two men who have not been found who are believed to be in the building's rubble, Daniel Prien and Ryan Hitchcock. Officials say their apartments were in the collapse zone. Today, city officials say crews are continuing their operations at the building with a focus on the material pile and removing it from the scene. A news conference is scheduled for 10 o'clock tomorrow morning.